Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Smythe with the Fly Shop at Tampa Fishing Out Outfitters, uh, bringing you another uh, episode of our Fitted to Fish YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about um, kind of some guidelines on maybe how to pole a boat and how to maneuver a skiff with a push pole and maybe a little bit into uh, push pole selection. All right, some things to think about when, when it comes down to purchase a push pole. So we'll talk about that as well. So generally, if you're on this end of the boat, you have an angler up front. Uh, your goal is to try to put that angler in the best position possible to make a cast out of fish. That can be a little tricky at times. So when you're using this push pole, you then become essentially the pivot point of this boat. So some key things to think about. If I want to turn right, if I want to go towards the starboard side of the boat, I need to push to the right. I'm just gonna, it's gonna pivot where I'm standing and the bow of the boat is gonna push to the right. Same thing about the left side. The bolder I make a push off the side of the boat, the harder turn it's gonna make. If I wanna propel myself forward, I need to be kinda of at my six o'clock or more towards the stern. If you need to propel yourself forward and make a turn, you can kinda of quarter it off between, say, not quite at the three, you know, kinda of at the four or five uh, o'clock position. That's gonna give you some momentum forward as well as uh, making, making a turn. And obviously if I wanna go straight forward, I need to try to push generally straight back to the six. Uh, you'll find that one of the most difficult challenges you'll face uh, while pulling a skiff is uh, managing the wind. Uh, the wind can really uh, take control if, uh, if you don't take it into consideration. A lot of times uh, we'll take the wind into the planning uh, as we approach a, a flat. So generally try to position the boat with the big motor in, a, in uh, coordination with the wind and kind of use the wind as a sail. If, uh, you know, if the, if the wind is, say, off our port side, I'll kind of use that as a sail and just bump, keep bumping it that way instead of trying to fight it the whole time. If you think about positioning your boat like that going into it, it'll be a lot easier to manage. Now, granted, the wind doesn't always uh, um, do what you want it to. It could change directions. Um, it could put you in a position where you have to fight it, and uh, that can be challenging. Now, the biggest thing is uh, uh, keep practicing at it. Um, the only way you're going to get better is actually do it. Um, it's going to be kind of generally a little difficult at first, um, but with some practice, you'll be able to uh, maintain control, maneuver a, a skiff um, to put yourself in you know position to be successful. Um, another thing that, that we're going to talk about is maybe it's on a selection of a, of a push pole. Uh, we get asked a lot in the shop, you know, what push pole do I need? Um, how long should it be? Uh, kind of the general rule of thumb is typically you want it about three foot longer than your skiff. So if you got a you know 16 foot skiff, generally you want about a 19, 20 foot. So generally, uh, I think it's a little bit better to have a little bit. Uh, a little bit long on the longer side. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily fit the, the rule of thumb to the T. If you're pulling deeper water, it's uh, better to have a little bit longer of a pole. It's easier to send the pole down. The material of the pole is gonna have a big uh, factor in how it performs. There's, a, there's some good uh, push pole manufacturers out there. Carbon Marine is a really good one. They make a great, um, several great lightweight poles. Um, there's, other, there's other manufacturers out there. So I think it's a good idea to do some research, do your homework on it. A um, uh, push pole can be a big investment. Um, they, there's several different options as far as price point goes. Um, that would be up to you to figure out you know, where it fits in your budget. Um, there's a lot more than, uh, than meets the eye when it comes to the technology and the, and the function of a push pole. Obviously the, the better material is gonna be lighter. It's going to be, um, a little stronger it's going to be more expensive so you have to take into consideration of where you want to be at on price point we carry all all the major brand of push poles uh, at our shop um, if you have any questions on poles come by and check us out if you have any questions on maybe how to if you're having some trouble maneuvering come and hit us up also on a push pole um, typically they come with two different type of, uh, of feet um, two different ends to the pole. Generally, you're going to have a pointed uh, spike on one end, and you're going to have a kind of a broad uh, foot on the other. And depending on what type of bottom you're in, if 
you're on a hard sandy bottom like we are here, it can be um, more ideal to use the point. If you need a stake out, you can jam that point into the bottom and uh, stake your boat out as an, uh, as an anchor. If you're in softer bottom, like mud or some, uh, some, grass, some grass beds, you can use the, the broad foot in and it's not gonna sink down in the mud as if you were to, were, as if you were to use the, uh, the pointed spike in. So that's just a few things to keep in, to keep in mind. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're able to pick up a little something on this video. If you have any questions, please come by the shop. Um, be sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned to the next Fitted to Fish episode. Thank you.